Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. The name of the Most High, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The God of the Bible is Yahweh, Bahasham, in the name of Yahweh Shai, the name of the only begotten Son of the Most High who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, our mediator and high priest, all right, which will bring us into the new covenant, all right, Bahashem, in the name of Rechakwadash, which is the Holy Spirit sent from on high, from the right-hand side of the Heavenly Father, all right, where Yahweh Shai sits, all right, he sent us the Holy Spirit in the form of the comforter in these latter days so that we can overcome death, all right, and a big part of the death that we suffered all right, where, uh, you know, these different religions and ideologies, all right, in particular, Christianity, all right, has been the most destructive religion, all right, and practice that our people have taken hold to, um, and it was given unto them by their slave masters, plantation Christianity, all right, and we've done videos on the slave Bible in which they took out particular uh, stories, that will liberate your mind, all right, or to bring you in remembrance of why you may be in the situation you're in. And, you know, they took all of those out and then ultimately presented you, all right, a Bible where they can control the narrative, all right, reading scriptures to you like, uh, uh, you know, servants obey your masters, which has nothing to do with the way it was presented unto you, all right, and we have lessons on that if you uh want understanding on that uh we have a video and i ultimately will post it uh just let me know in the comments now you know this is a video done by the elder manata zakba gms bible teachers sc make sure you subscribe to the elders page and be constantly edified the title of this video is christian woman hates the bible but loves Jesus juice. And that's, you know, pretty much the narrative of our people who are in these churches, in particular the women, because that's what leads uh, these modern day churches, the, you know, these well-kept monuments of failure, you know, where they look good on the outside, you know, but on the inside, you know, it's nothing but off philosophy, off doctrine. And as you're going to see here, they all live OK, the, the 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 principal foundation of Christianity is that you don't have to keep the laws of the most high. All right. And we're going to get into that because ultimately we understand that we're not saved by the law, but to teach and live a life to where you're constantly breaking the laws, breaking the laws, breaking the laws. All right. You're not going to find yourself in good favor with the most high through his son. All right. We are under a grace period. You see. We're not under the law right now, but we're under grace. But as we'll show you in the scriptures, that does not give us uh, the go ahead to just live like wild beast. All right. And continuously sin and do evil and do. All right. What we know the heavenly father. All right. Doesn't agree with or what he deems unclean. Now, we're going to play uh, some of this video and ultimately show you why we have left this garbage religion alone. All right, because of the mindset that it uh, uh, forwards in the earth, man. And our people are going to be in some serious trouble. All right. Uh, in the in the in the days to come. All right. Because, uh, the, you know, they refuse to hearken. Now, when you go into the church, usually you're going to have a loud mouth, you know, uh, strong headed, thick neck. All right. Uh, women. All right, talking and, 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 and at the forefront, and then you're going to have the men looking beat down, sad, as if they want to go home. And that's ultimately what you see here. All right. Now, I'm going to play some of this, and then we're going to get some edification. Uh, this is pretty much uh, going to just be a uh, response sort of commentary on the video, just to show you the mindset. And this is what Vocab Malone wants you Israelites to be into. See, when you're in this mindset, all right, this, this you're not a threat. All right, you're easily controlled. 
okay and you strengthen the hands of the evildoers as the scriptures say in the book of hosea they make the king glad with their wickedness our our enemies which our people don't even understand they're in the land of their enemies that's a mindset Christianity instilled in them. They think that they're in, uh, they're, <laughs> they're, uh, in heaven, you know? But what they don't understand is that they're in the land of their enemies and that this society is based upon the disrespect, blatant disrespect of the Heavenly Father and His Son in a righteous way, all right? But they've made it their rest and made a covenant with the very death Okay, that the Heavenly Father is not dealing with. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and play this. Israelite, which is a real Christian. Yeah, which are the real Christians. Oh. Now, right there. Look, 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 look at the reaction of the woman. When the, the elder tells her he's an Israelite, that made her mad. When the whole Bible is about the Israelites and the Israelites are God's chosen people. And see, that's what Christianity has done. It has put a mindset on our people to hate the truth and to ultimately hate themselves. And that's ultimately what the slave master instilled in these people, man. So the fact that we're coming out of that mindset is a miracle, man, because this is embedded in the minds of the mass majority of our people. They hear the Israelite thing and it is automatically negative in their opinion or something that needs to be rebuttaled. When the Christians or, or the followers of the Messiah, because they didn't call themselves Christians, they were speaking Hebrew, they were followers of Hamashiach, all right? Christian was a derogatory term placed on them, all right, by the people who knew who they were. There go those Christians again. And the scriptures say the apostles, all right, uh, were called Christians first in Antioch. All right. Around that time, they were also called Niger, which is nigger, black. All right. But the true followers of the Messiah were Israelites. As a matter of fact, when Yahweh Shai saw, I believe, was it uh, Nathaniel? I believe I was reading it earlier. Let me see if I hear. Here we go. Yep. John 1 and 47 Yahweh saw Nathanael come unto him and said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, of whom is no gal, meaning he's one of the elect. All right? His followers, the, the, the men he gathered were Israelites. Let's get Matthew, the 24th or the 15th chapter in the 24th verse. Okay, Matthew 15 and 24. But he said, but he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. All right. The house of Israel. And when it's all said and done, we get Revelation, the 21st chapter dealing with the kingdom of heaven. All right. Uh, uh, what does it say is going to be written on those gates? Because don't those Christians always talk about those pearly gates? OK. The pearly gates. Well, Revelation 21 and 12 and had a great, all right, uh, a wall great and high and had 12 gates and at the gates, 12 angels and the names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. All right. And then the 12 apostles of the lamb. And then as you read down, you know, the, uh, the, the 144. So the, the, the kingdom of heaven is for the Israelites OK, and it will be ran by the Israelites. But here it is. Our people, when they hear Israelites, they automatically associate it with something negative And it leaves a bad taste in their mouth. Uh oh, look, look, wait a minute now. Hold on before you say it. Why are you saying that, ma'am? Why are you saying that? No, no, champ, come on now. You're going to talk. You got to be honest. You got to be honest. You got to be honest. Why you say, oh, Lord, Israelite? Why you say that? Tell the truth now. Let me turn around this way. Not Muslim. He is a more. What you got? A more. More. That's not. That's not what we are. That's not what you but are. But why'd you say, "Oh Lord," like that? Why'd you say that? Because it's a little different between Christianity and what you all are. Like. Okay. Now show me the word Christianity in the Bible. Let's type it in. As a matter of fact. Let's just uh, where were we? We were over here. 
Let's just type in Christianity. All right, zero. Let's type in Israelite. Now that's four. Let's type in Israel. Two thousand five hundred and sixty eight times do you find Israel and that's not including the Apocrypha. All right. In the Old and New Testament, Israel. OK, occurs two thousand five hundred. OK, and sixty eight times. You're right. And that, because we, we, because we really we go by what the word actually says, are which, you, are which you most killing, Christians don't. Are you killing um, lambs? Are we killing lambs? Are you living by the old? We don't kill lambs because why? Are Wait a minute. Oh, look, see now. Now, now, automatically, she jumps on the, the, the Christian defense because they know that the Israelites and that people who take our position are going to start bringing out the laws. So what do they bring up? Are you killing lambs? Now, what 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 is this a synonymous with? The, the mindset of the Christian, <laughs> all right, saying that the Old Testament is done away with. Now, the Old Covenant is done away with. And no, we're not killing lambs. No, we're not sacrificing, all right, uh, uh, you know, goats and lambs and turtle doves for, you know, forgiveness of sins and peace offerings and things like that. Yahawashai was the final sacrifice, all right, but we offer up ourselves as a living sacrifice, while under a grace period all right we offer up our and how do you offer up your body as a living sacrifice all right you you try to be as holy as possible you put off the world you put off the flesh okay in in, in the works of the flesh the works of this world which this world is filled with iniquity and sin all right but the christian church infuses our people into the world you see when the scriptures tell us that we are to be separate from the world and the only way to separate yourself from the world all right is true love which true love is fulfilled in keeping the laws according to the book of romans the 13th chapter starting at around the uh, seventh verse on down okay true love is the keeping of the laws man but our people hate the laws my thing is, are you living by the Old Testament or are you living by the New Testament? We're living by the complete Bible. Oh, so, so therefore the, the complete old, Bible. Okay. So therefore the Old Testament is still something that you live by. So therefore you still got to go out and nope. kill a lamb. No, we don't. Put that blood over the, the what? I'm gonna let you finish. No, no, you no I'm asking. You done? I'm asking a question. Now when the, when is the, And this is a big misunderstanding our people have when it comes to the whole Old Testament. Because here it is, you can bring out prophecies that are in the Old Testament, and what will a Christian say? And particularly a black Christian, they'll tell you, okay, that that's done away with. Why are you reading out of the Old Testament? Now, what, what, what the understanding on that is the covenants, okay? The Old Covenant is done away with. Okay, we are now under grace to be brought into the new covenant where those very laws that we broke in that first covenant will be entered into our inward parts. You see, our people live by this doctrine and philosophy under Christianity that the law doesn't, we don't have to adhere to anything that the law says. Meaning you can just live how you want and do as thou wilt. And that has not worked for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which is why you're first place in everything negative, sicknesses, abortions, okay? Don't you know that the law tells you not to have an abortion? <laughs> anyway, let's get this in the book of uh, Hebrews, the ninth chapter. I'll just start uh, at the 11th verse. It says, but Hamashiach, the Messiah, the anointed one, being come in high priest of good things, to come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle because remember Moses built a tabernacle Solomon built a temple okay it says not made with hands that is to say not of this building all right neither by the blood of goats and calves but by his own blood 
Because remember, under that first covenant, all right, Moses sprinkled the blood, all right, over the Israelites. And when Israel sinned, they would have to go to the high priest who was a mediator, all right, and he would uh, offer up sacrifice, right? It says, neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. All right. And this book is written to the Hebrews. Is every nation on the earth a Hebrew? No. All right. It says. For if the blood of bulls and goats and the ashes of an heifer sprinkling the unclean sanctified to the purifying of the flesh. How much more shall the blood of Hamashiach, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot? All right. He was the he fulfilled the duties of the the the, the um, unblemished lamb. He fulfilled the duties of the high priest. He fulfilled the duties of the scapegoat. He fulfilled the law. All right. He did it perfectly. Every jot and tittle of the law. All right. His 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 life fulfilled it. His birth, everything fulfilled the law. All right. It says, uh, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God, because those sacrifices under that first covenant. All right. We still went off after those sacrifices, man. OK. Now, once Yahweh enters us into that new covenant, that new testament, that new agreement. All right. We will never sin again. Those laws will be in us. All right, verse 15, and for this cause, he is the mediator of a new testament. All right, that by the means of death for the redemption of the transgressions. All right, that were under the first testament. Now, what was the first testament? The first covenant and testament, which is the same thing, was the law, statutes and commandments written on stone. All right. So Yahweh Shai is the mediator of a better covenant or a better testament, okay, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the first testament. Now, who was the law given unto under the first testament? The Israelites, okay? So this is a, a, a very, very serious misunderstanding Christians have when it comes to the New Testament, Old Testament, okay? Because a lot of them think that they can just pick the book up and start in Matthew, all right, and gain understanding of the scriptures. It doesn't work that way. There's various things that have to be understood before entering into Matthew. You have to understand Genesis. You have to understand the Bible, man. Okay? It's a, it's a story. Okay? You don't start a movie at the middle of the movie, but that's what Christians think they can do. Just do away with anything written in the Old Testament, and they're good. OK, there's a difference between saying the Old Testament and then the law, the uh, prophets. OK, and, and, and everything else written in the Old Testament, because you have the covenant. OK, the old covenant, what, what, that was done away with. Correct. All right. But the prophets wrote things that have not been fulfilled yet. And we can go to those things to bring comfort. And the scriptures say all scripture. As a matter of fact, all scripture. See that it's in the book of Timothy. Second Timothy three and 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. But Christians hate instruction. And you know what his mindset comes from? They're leaders. Okay, and we'll get into that. Wait a minute. I'm about to Because okay. when Jesus came, do you believe in Jesus? Nope. You just think Jesus is a prophet. Wrong. You let me ask. You you believe believe we believe in the Son of God. Which is not Listen, Jesus. listen, lady. I'm okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Can I answer you? Yeah. We believe in the Son of God mm -hmm. whose name is not Jesus. Which is what? Which is a white guy. Which is who? No. Who said Jesus is a white guy? It's on all the images. Isn't on all the images. That's an image. But who said that Jesus is a white man? Because the image. Hold on, that one. Yeah. Yeah, aggressive women. That this is the Christian church. Aggressive women, and then the men be like, "Oh Lord." You got to ask y'all up on 
me now. Okay. Go ahead. I ain't up all up on you. Okay. Okay. But I'm saying, the white man say Jesus is a white man, blonde hair, blue eyes. What color is it? But me personally, I think Jesus is every color that every nationality needs him to be. Okay, stop right That's there. Okay, wait. Now you want to hear He's every color. There's people who said he had no color. He's every color. <laughs> so let's just keep, keep listening. Never wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Before you, wait. Let's talk about your statement. Let's talk about your statement. You said. Let's talk about where he came from. I'm going to go to him because he's, he's reasonable. You're not. You won't be quiet. You ain't reasonable. Okay, now she said. No. No, I don't. Because I just want to get the scripture say, out. Because See this word? They say that you. And I asked, you said that already. Now, the scriptures tell the woman to keep silent for a reason, because this is usually what's going to come from it. <laughs> I, mean, I asked you what color. Wait a minute, lady. But the Bible Mel? said that if we look at it, Mom. it's from a black man. Mom, listen. Okay. Listen. Watch out now. Don't knock Here, let me get that out of your way there. So you can lean. Go ahead. Okay. Now, you said he's not a white guy with blonde hair and blue eyes, right? No, no, no. Okay, now you, I asked you, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, now he's a man of color. Not now. Now, first you said he was every color you needed him to be. Because every race. So you think, you think you that. You keep moving on me now. I'm trying to keep the people from India think he's a black man? No. He's everything that we There's various people in India who knows the Messiah as a black man. <laughs> Around the world, a lot of people know that the Messiah is a so-called black man. But all of these nations have just come together via prophecy to keep the Israelites down, the true Israelites, all right? We need him to be. What does the Bible the say? the Bible is? say, okay, as now far you're as I'm concerned. No, not as far as you're concerned. What did the Bible say itself? Okay. What did he look like? But the Bible, hey, what we read, stay and with what the you. Bible somebody stay else read, what is, what is something what does the scripture just, say he looked like? I say he a black man. What does the Bible say? Because he got the curly hair and oh, all. Oh, you see? These women are out of order, man. <laughs> Just <laughs> come on, man. You know, come on, man. He's looking like, see? <laughs> Go I'm ahead. Saying. Yeah, but you, come on now. I'm saying, so I think he's a okay, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give and you. And that's where I'm going. He's a black man. He's a brother. Let me, let me, let me. Now imagine what she would be doing if she was out somewhere drunk like she is. And so, you know, out of order, man. This is why things need to be set back in order. All right. And that's what Yahweh Shah is coming to do, because you people think that this is a joke. Oh, real quick before we finish on that. I was looking at this just just to show you how our the mindset of our people towards the, 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 the most high son, man. It's a it's a game to them. Um, are, you, are you a Christian? Yes. I let you. Huh? Yeah, that's my picture of Jesus. <laughs> yeah, she got the picture of the white Jesus on the on the refrigerator. <laughs> now just, let's just listen. <laughs> yes. So where in the Bible did it talk about marriages for blissful happiness? Marriage from the beginning of time has literally been a partnership. It has been what can just, you do? What was the question I asked? Where in the Bible, I'm not, I'm not, I don't even listen to gospel like that. I can't quote the Bible word for word. But you got a picture of Jesus up on the wall. Yeah, I can't quote the Bible word for word. I just asked you where in the I got Bible. Picture of my I just asked you where in the Bible does it say marriage is for blissful happiness? It doesn't say that. It don't, it, Jesus is my homeboy. It don't say that in the Bible, but that's my homie. Jesus is your homie. So I want to go back to our first statement. Are you out of order? Yes, yeah, she's out of order. And I would play more, but, you know, who who knows, you know. But, yeah, man, Jesus is my homie. That's the mindset that our people have towards the Heavenly Father. And you know where that comes from? The leadership. This is Malachi chapter 3 and 1, or Micah chapter 3 and 1. And I said, here I pray you, O heads of Jacob. And ye princes of the house of Israel, is it not for you to know judgment? And our people don't understand the judgment of the Lord, and they don't have any respect for the Lord, man. The heads are supposed to teach our people the judgments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You see? 
who hate the good and love the evil. And all of your preachers are set up, okay, by the the the, the Edomites, the, the rulers of this world, to teach you that mindset, to keep you in that uh, dumbed down uh, 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 mentality when it comes towards the scriptures, man. Because we're going to keep listening to uh, 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 Auntie Lawanda, all right? who hate the good and love the evil, who pluck off their skin from off of them and their flesh from off their bones. Now, what, what is this reminiscent of? What does this remind you of? Ezekiel 37 chapter, the dry bones. Okay, the dry bones in Ezekiel 37 chapter. Why are they dry bones? Because of what they've been taught. The scriptures say, he that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. These are dead bodies, dry bones that we're witnessing. OK. And it's because of the leadership who also eat the flesh of my people, you take away their defense. And flay their skin off of them and break their bones and chop them in pieces as for the pot as flesh within the cauldron, man. Then shall they cry unto the Lord, but he will not hear them. And that's what's getting ready to happen. And he will even hide his face from them at that time. And they as they have behaved themselves ill in their doing. <laughs> Thus saith the Lord concerning the prophets that make my people err, that bite with their teeth and cry peace, and he that put it not into their mouths, and they even prepare war against him. And our people are at war against Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. They hate the true image of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay, and you you preachers are a big part of, of the, the, the way that they are, man. The leaders. Let's listen to some more. Now, 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 let me read you this. Now, let me read you this. I'm going to do you better than that. Not only is he a brother. Wait a minute. He's related to us. Yes, he is. No, he ain't your father. His father is your father. Right? But he himself is related to us because we... He's the savior. All right? He ain't your homie. He ain't your daddy. Now, he is the everlasting father. But the way that you all uh, come at it, because are you are you disobedient to your father? Because, yes, he is a father figure to us. You see, big brother, he he, he fulfilled everything, man. All right. But ultimately, uh, uh, are you disobedient to your father? What did Yahweh Shai say? Yahweh Shai was perfect in the law. And the scriptures say we should try to walk. OK, we should take the mindset he took and put it in our mind. But what does the average Christian do when they hear uh, uh, the laws? We're going to see it here. They get mad. So you're not That's not he's not your father. Because would you if you if your father had rules in his house. <laughs> All right. See, there's condition to this, uh, to the love of Yahweh Bashim Shai. If ye love me, keep my commandments, man. And the commandments are not grievous. We come from those people. Now I'm going to tell you what he looked like. The Israelites. Oh, there you go. They from, right now, where are they? They're, over, they're scattered throughout the world. Just hold tight. Let me read you something. These Christians don't know what the hell they're talking about. See, it will behoove her to just shut the hell up and take in wisdom. All right. He, the man is silent, but the woman is, is, is boastful. And that's see, that's what you see in these churches. This is what they produce. All right. This is Revelation one, right? I'm both of y'all. Oh, we already know that. I, I spelled it a little bit, but it's OK. You're on vacation. It's all right. You can drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Revelation 1, verse 1. Listen close. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which the, which God gave unto him to show to his servants things which must shortly come to pass. The word revelation means revealing. Okay. Now it's about to reveal you how he looks. Wait a minute. Verse 14. It says, his head and his hairs were white like wool. Listen. His head and his hair were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. So like you said, my beard is curly, right? Like wool. That's how he looked, but it was great. Not Ethiopian. Hold on. Just listen now. Stay with me. Stay with me. 
Verse 15, his feet like a... She, 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 she's walking with that stretched forth neck, man. The daughters of Zion. She's out of order, man. Doing all of that in front of her man. Fine brass. His feet like into fine brass as if they burn in a furnace. Brother man, you know what brass looks like? All right, now, what color is it? Like a brown, right? Golden brown. So if you take that same brass and you burn it, now what are you looking at? You're looking at very dark. We would, we would say black, right? So he looked that way, and the people that he came from looked that way. Now, when you're reading the Bible, it talks about his people going into slavery in ships. Okay, back in Deuteronomy 28. That's how we can say we know that he was related to us because we came from those people. We came from those people, and that's his people, okay? So you smiling now. All right, you with me? So when you, but now listen, 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 listen now, we gotta get this point out. So when you say he's any color we need him to be, that's incorrect. Because over in Russia, they have on the walls a dark bronze painted Messiah. Even though people say that he's a white guy, that's not true. And the people in India also know that. That's, well, not only in America, they start, you know, not only in America. But listen to me, though. That's all over the world. That's, they got that painting and all. Yeah, they do. Over in, over in London, over in uh, uh, Sweden, they got the images painted. Because they rule the world, that's why. Yeah. But now the secret has been coming out slowly over the last few years. That his, his real image and his real people's. That's us. So when, when in the beginning, when I said I'm an Israelite, all I meant was I'm a follower of the Bible in the truth of the sin to the phone. And we acknowledge that we're from the, from the people in the Bible. Okay. That's all I was saying, okay? okay. And, so and when you get prophecy, the scriptures say Israel, the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, okay, would be as the sand of the sea, but a remnant will return. So what, what's happening here is very, very spiritual, man. OK, and it can be explained. You have Israelites all over the earth. Rising up, preaching, repenting, coming back to the Lord. OK, and our people are, are, are they don't see that as a, a miracle because they don't understand prophecy. You see, they think the Old Testament, oh, Old Testament, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, it, 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 would be, it was too much. It was too strict. But what, what, what about the prophets? <laughs> What about what they said was going to happen? It's happening right now. The word of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is coming to pass right before our eyes, man. And we should be at all. But you know what it takes? It takes leadership, okay, to teach our people these things. But there's more. Let's keep listening. So, y'all, but we're not living, but we don't have to live the Old Testament. So no there you go. You don't have to live the Old Testament. You see that? Let's get a scripture real quick. Malachi chapter 3 and 13. Your words have been stout against me, saith Yahweh. Yet ye say, what have we spoken so much against thee? You see, what, 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 what issue do you have with the Old Testament? What's written in the Old Testament? Now, the Old Covenant, yes, we understand the Old Covenant was done away with. And the old covenant was you, if you don't keep these laws, the curse, death in certain cases, you cut off from your people. You see, but Yahweh Shai dying on the cross, raising from the dead. All right. Gave us a grace period, ultimately, man. To where now he's on the right hand side of the heavenly father and he's able to send down the Holy Spirit in our uncircumcised uh, 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 flesh, man. Okay. So now we're circumcised in spirit. All right. And our intent and in, 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 in our, our sacrifice, which is our doings, our preaching and everything else will ultimately justify us ultimately under his blood. You see, to be brought into that new covenant, that new testament. OK, it's just an agreement. All right. Your words have been stout against me, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, what have we spoken so much against thee? Now let's look up the word stout. Because you all are in the spirit of Esau. Didn't the scripture say he, he was more uh, stout than his fellows? Stout is chazach. 
All right. To strengthen your your words are strong in pride. You see. Grievous to restore strength. <laughs> All right. Now there's a, a, a you know a positive, okay, but in negative, okay, uh, uh, you are speaking against the heavenly Father, man, and you're proud. See, your words have been stout against me, saith Yahweh. Yet ye say, what have we spoken so much against thee? You don't think you're saying anything wrong? Ye have said it is vain to serve God, <laughs> or and what profit is it that we have kept this ordinance? And that we have walked mournfully before Yahweh, the Lord of hosts. You, you uh, see, our people associate doing what's right and righteousness with being bored. You see, they don't want to repent. They don't want to walk mournfully towards the Lord. I'm living my best life. I'm claiming it. You claiming a motherfucking disease or an ailment. Okay. And failure and rebellion. See, we're, we're, we're proclaiming the kingdom. But our people don't want the kingdom. That's another thing. You talk to Christians about the kingdom, and the, the first thing they do is, ah, nah, nah, uh, 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 don't say that. Uh, uh, that we're end of the world stuff. I don't want, because they don't understand that the world will never end. It's just a new rulership is coming to the earth, and Babylon the Great has to be destroyed. And this is Babylon the Great. Don't you see now that they're talking about allowing uh, uh, incest? And a mother to marry son and father to marry a son. All types of wickedness, man. And they're just now getting started. It's only going to get worse, man. Here it is. You Christians voted for, uh, 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 what's this guy named? Biden. And you're uh, uh, in alliance and agreeance with what he's doing. <laughs> Come on, man. Here he swears in on the Bible. Then the next day he's talking about eight-year-olds should be able to change their sex without feeling uh, ashamed. Ye have said it is vain to serve God. And what profit is it that we have kept his ordinance? Let's look up the word ordinance, man. Me one second while it loads. Masha ma rath. All right, guard. Okay, and these 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 laws are a guard unto you, man. Charge, function, obligation. See, when Abraham, who was uncircumcised, right, when 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 the heavenly Father made Himself known unto him, He made His His obligation known unto him, and what did He do? He kept the loss. He had faith. Service, watch, guard, watch, house of detention or confinement. You see? And what does the scripture say about uh, 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 righteousness? Let's see here. Fetters. I believe it's in uh, uh, Sirach. It's like you're a prisoner to righteousness man but our people will rather be a prisoner to sin okay in the vibration of this world man there we go let's see here Sirach chapter 6 let's see a good starting place I start at 18 my son gather instruction from thy youth up and so shall thy find wisdom till thine old age and Esau hates to see you in wisdom he that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy and are, aren't we the sons of God come unto her as one that ploweth and soweth and wait for her good fruits all right patience is another part of righteousness it's a part of our sacrifice is patience for thou shall not toil much in laboring about her but thou shall eat of her fruits right soon all right she is very unpleasant to the unlearned that's why she gets pissed off about the old testament that is a ongoing narrative with the black christian church that old testament huh? that's the old Testament. ain't that the old testament so i can't go on jeremiah i can't go on isaiah 
I can't go on the Obadiah. None of that matters because Jesus came onto the scene. When he, the Messiah, which his name ain't Jesus, he's coming to fulfill the things that they wrote about. He fulfilled some of those prophecies when he came as a man. All right. But what does it say in Isaiah 47? He's not going to meet thee as a man the second time. The word of the heavenly father and Yahweh Shai comes in a volume of the book. The scriptures say the things that are written aforetime are written for our learning. OK, as a matter of fact, second Peter. Uh, 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 three and two or two and three. Let's see here, Second Peter's. Second Peter's three and one. This epistle, beloved, now I write unto you, and both which I stir up your pure minds by the way of remembrance, that ye may be mindful of the words which were written and spoken before by the prophets, and of the commandment of us, the apostles and the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. So you are supposed to be mindful of the words that were spoken by the holy prophets. And where is that written? In what is known as the Old Testament. Okay? So where were we? Okay. Verse 20 in Sirach, the sixth chapter, she is very unpleasant to the unlearned. OK, our people hate discipline. <laughs> All right. He that is without understanding will not remain with her. She will lie on him as a mighty stone of trial and he will cast her from him ere, ere it be long because it's a burden. All right. Because we're walking in the valley of death. We, we see everything is filled with sin. So to separate from it is a burden. You make yourself a prey. So most people, when, once they get out of this truth, they're like, Whew. you know, it says for wisdom is according to her name and she is not manifest unto many. Give ear, my son, receive my advice and refuse not my counsel. You see, and put thy feet into her fetters and thy neck into her chain. You see that bow down thy shoulder and bear her and be not grieved with her bonds. Come unto her with thy whole heart and keep her ways with all thy power. Okay? And in, in, in its wisdom to know not to eat swine. It's wisdom to not eat a turtle or a rabbit. It's wisdom not to sleep with your your your, your uh a, a woman who has a, a, a man or a husband. It's wisdom for a man not to lay with another man. These things are in the law. But our people are so dead set on the fact that the law is done away with the old te that look at them in 2020 with all the hell that's getting ready to happen. They're not even aware. You see, and they're not going to have any protection. <laughs> now, going back to what we were reading, the word for ordinance. OK, house of detention or confinement. So this truth is like hey, you, you now you're being watched by the angels. There's a, a standard you got to live by. There's things you can't do, but there's a lot you can do. See, the law ain't grievous. Keeping, preserving, charge, injunction, office, function, ceremonial. All right. And we have laws. We have holy days and our people don't want to hear none of it, even though the Messiah celebrated the passover they mock at the passover and celebrate christmas in other words okay let me stop you so in other words you're saying we don't have to follow by the law no no right okay yeah, stop Jesus. stop stop the law yep. so therefore we don't have to live the law any longer so then okay see that's what they don't understand now, let's get that in the book of Matthew, the fifth chapter. And I just saw the elder Manata Zakba posted a video going into that. I'm pretty sure it's going to be uh, in response to this video that we're listening to because she made that point. And this is what, you know, the, the vocab loves to see our people in that spirit. Right. Jesus died on the cross. So, you know what? I, can, I don't have to keep no law because he kept them all. 
<laughs> what does the scripture say? Let this mind be in you, which was in Yahawashai. All right. Matthew 5 and 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. And he fulfilled the law. Go into the law. He was the morning and evening sacrifice. He was the scapegoat. He was the high priest. He was the unblemished lamb. His legs weren't broken. All of those are laws. He damn sure didn't eat a uh, 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 swine. And no scripture gives you liberty to just live in sin, man. Now, we understand that we live in a God forsaken society, so you may have to work on the Sabbath. But there are things you can control. You can control what you eat and don't eat knowingly because there's certain uh, uh, additives and things and stuff that he, we think is lawful. So overall, we're in hell and it's no way to perfectly keep the law unless you're sovereign. OK, or unless you, you, you have new bodies, because we can't perfectly keep the law in this sinful flesh. But your mind, your 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 uh, uh, your intent. All right. Like Job said, weigh me in an even balance, man, that God may know my intent, my innocence. All right. Matthew five and 17, the word for fulfill. Think not that I'm come to destroy, but to fulfill. He showed us how to do it. <laughs> He's the example. He's our role model. Amongst many other things, man, it says, uh, play Ruo. Oh, my goodness, hold up. Strong's G 4137, play Rao, play Rao. Okay, to make full, to fill up to fill to the full, to cause to abound, to uh, furnish or supply liberally, all right? To render full, to complete. He did it. He completed the law, okay? But that doesn't give us the go-ahead to just sin. Jesus died on the cross, nigga. I can, you know, no. That's a horrible uh, way to think, all right? To, to make complete, to consummate a number, to make complete in every particular, see that? His birth, which is how we know there's no virgin birth, because he was the seed of a man. That's in the law of Moses, all right? Um, which is why his mother went through the laws of purification. Uh, to render perfect, to carry through the end, to accomplish, to carry out. He accomplished the law, all right? To execute, perform the matters of a duty. To fulfill, to cause God's will, all right, as made known in the law, to be obeyed as it should be. And God's promises. He was obedient unto death, man. He was the perfect sacrifice. See what this says. From Plateris to be filled to hollow vessels of a surface covered by in every part to complete, to lack nothing. He was perfect in the law. That's all it means when it said he came to fulfill the law. The scriptures say the law endured forever, man. We were just there in the book of Baruch. Let's get that. And Baruch was Jeremiah's scribe. He's in the Bible, all right? Baruch, the fourth chapter, and Apocrypha is scriptural. The, the Messiah and John, the uh, tenth chapter, all right, was at the uh, feast of the dedication, man. Which goes back, which is Hanukkah. Where, 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 did, where did that originate? In the book of Maccabees. Wouldn't he have condemned it? Hmm. Baruch chapter four and one. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endure forever. And they that keep it shall come to life. But such as leave it shall die. Turn to thee, O Jacob, take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof that thou mayest be illuminated. 
okay, that you can know what's right and wrong. And that's a protection. And that's what the priesthood, the leaders are supposed to do. Teach our people right from wrong, clean from unclean. The scriptures say you can't make a, a unclean thing clean, man. You can't make that which is crooked straight. But that's what Jake uh, 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 seeks to do with their, with their whack-ass Christianity doctrine, man. Okay? And remember, the law is holy. Here it is. You, Jake, say you're holy. Let's get that. Uh, Romans. Romans 7 and 12. I'm holy. I'm holier than thou. Romans 7 and 12. Wherefore the law is holy and the commandment is holy and just. See that? But this flesh is what the problem is, man. Now let's finish uh, where I had here and then we'll go back to Nadine. All right, this is uh, <laughs> Malachi chapter 3 and 14. You have said it is vain to serve God. And what profit is it that we have kept his ordinance? All right. And what have and, and that we have walked mournfully before the Lord of hosts. You don't see any profit in keeping the laws. All right. And now so-called black culture and all of these cultures that our people follow after are anti-Messiah. And now we call the proud happy. Yea, they that work wickedness are set up. Yea, they that tempt God are delivered. Tyler Perry. T.D. Jakes, all of these various different people amongst our people are heralded as these great people. But they tempt the Heavenly Father, man. You see? So when it's... <laughs> let's rewind it. When it said he came to fulfill the law, oh, we wasn't finishing that, right? We wasn't finishing that. Matthew 5 and 17. Think not that I'm come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle showing no wise pass for the law. And the earth abideth forever. <laughs> right? Till all be fulfilled. Is all fulfilled? All right? No, whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. And all you Christians talk about is love, 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 love. But you hate the laws. Okay, let me stop you. So in other words, you said we don't have to follow by the law. No, no, right. Okay, Jesus stop, stop, came to stop. Jesus fulfill the law. Yep. So therefore, we don't have to live the law any longer. So then, okay, All according to that, do, okay. But, we, but the law still, you know, when we're looking at it, we say, hey, this is something that happened. This is something that we can understand. But he fulfilled the law. Okay, let me so read you this. We don't have to put no blood over our dang old house. Well, you know why, though? Because he... And the blood over the houses was going back to the Passover. Okay, but the blood we're covered under now. Okay, and, you know, the Moses sprinkled blood over the congregation, you know, in that first covenant, Exodus 24. But now we're covered by the blood of Yahawashai, which the blood on the doorpost represents over your mind. If you're just living a life full of sin, the blood is not on your doorpost over your mind. He was the sacrifice for that. Exactly. But the rest of the exactly. law, wait a minute now, wait, wait. He's taking care of that part. He's our Passover. Right, right? he is definitely our but, Passover. But, this is what he said. Now this is written in red. You see it? Yeah, and everything some, in red. This is, everything right, tell in them. Red. Tell the people. Everything, everything in, in red, red who is said the law. See, these people think it's a joke. Lord, who said it? Everything written in red is what the Lord said. All right? Amen. So this, this is what he said. Now, I hope y'all listen to this. Listen up. Okay? Revelate, oh, I'm sorry. Matthew 5, 17. Think not that I have come to destroy the law or the prophets. Listen, listen. I'm not saying I'm going with you. Think not that I have come to destroy the law or the prophets. 
I'm, you see, and, and she's coming from the. I, I know that. I, I no, you don't. Not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Fulfill. You said, wait, wait, wait. There's more. Not the word. There's fulfill. more. But verily I say to you, right. till heaven and earth pass, right. one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. All be fulfilled. So it's so still, what? wait a minute. Wait. Okay. I'm going to tell you what it means. Okay. It's okay. still in effect. I'm going to prove it. He, he says further, whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. Do you still? No. Have you killed? Nope. Have you treated your brethren wrong? Yeah. Have you covenanted your neighbor's wife? What the hell? Nope. But the but thing that I did, guess what? Community. Guess what, though? Guess what? That's what was the. Well, see, law. you trying to talk around what was written. No, no, no. So it is, is it okay to do those things? Let's get uh, Romans. The 13th chapter. Because, yeah, we go off. We live in an imperfect society. Right? But when we go off, we feel bad. We repent. We don't walk around with billboards promoting the fact that we are going off as a way of life. Romans 13 and eight, owe no man anything but to love one another, for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. For this thou shalt not commit adultery, a law. Thou shalt not kill, all right, which is really murder, all right. Thou shalt not steal, a law. Thou shalt not bear false witness, a law. Thou shalt not covet, a law. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Love worketh no ear to his neighbor. What, therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. All right. So, so basically, you it's a it's a way you walk. You know, you don't need the the to go to the, you know, the technicals of the law to say I shouldn't do this or I shouldn't do that. You don't need to look at the fringes. Now it's a way you walk. It's in you. To love which is the fulfilling of the law. So the fact that, yeah, we, we do sin, all have uh, sinned and fell short of the glory. But do you go around telling people it's okay to continue and do it? What did the Lord tell that woman? Go and sin no more. Now, we're not going to get it perfect in this flesh, but where is your mind? What are you teaching people? What is the way that you live? What is your intent? And the mass majority of these Christians intent is to just do evil, man. And Jake is the salt of the earth. All right. But they're off, man. No, he not. said you can't break the commandments. You can't but do it. But the Ten Commandments? Not the Ten. Not just Ten. Come on, man. Hold on. Hold on. What did we just read? If you... If, if, if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Why do Christians have such a disdain for the law? That's the question. You see, that's the, they hate it. The laws are not grievous, man. But are you living the 10, first of all? Of course. Now I am because I'm converted. So you live in the 10? Yes. Yes. When you ask me to do that, I, I think laugh. you're a liar. Because, I'm not lying. Because it's hard to live those. It's hard that's to live why the 10? Jesus, that's why Jesus came. Because he understood that we could not fulfill that law. We that's not why he came. He came because we couldn't fulfill that first covenant which was our access back to the heavenly father. We wore the sacrifice out. And furthermore, he came because it was prophesied for him to come. But that was only for the Israelites. You think she know that? No. <laughs> the laws were only given to the Israelites and we ran it out. We ran out the sacrifice. The Lord said, I'm tired of your sacrifices, man. Okay. He came so that we could be 
brought back to the Father through his sacrifice. Exactly, through his sacrifice. Right. Because but it had nothing to do the law. What now here it is. This is a man teaching. You should shut up. And this is the problem with our people. They do too much goddamn talking and they ain't saying nothing. Here it is. It's 2.2 billion Christians in the world. And they haven't made a significant change yet. With just a few Israelites, look at the change we're making. Lives are being converted, man. People are dropping idols, drugs, filthy lifestyles, man. And at least trying. You go, you be a Christian, you go to the, to, to, to the Christian church, you, you stand in front of the church one time and cry, I'm giving my life to Jesus. You could just be a complete nigga after that, man. You go get baptized in, 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 in the physical water, but you never wash your mind, man. The true baptism is of the mind washing away the filth, man. And these Christians love to focus they don't focus on nothing, but the main thing you're going to get from them is God loves everybody and you don't have to keep the laws. That's the focus of a Christian. They're not, they don't go they don't know no history. <laughs> they don't know no prophecies. They don't know the intent of the heavenly father. They don't know what the first and second covenants are. They just, the New Testament, Old Testament, they don't understand what that really means. The law. It no. was like, whatever. You're getting mixed up now. No, no, no. The law can't, getting, wait a minute. I'm not the law's people were cast away from him. Right. But and I'm Heavenly Father's me. people. Listen. I'm no, listen. I'm because I just read to you, he said, he said, you got to keep, you got to keep the commandments. Okay, so we still got to do lambs? No, but that's, no. that's not one of what we're talking about. That's the sacrifice that the, the high priest did. OK, in order to bring the Israelites back to the father, we just read that in Hebrews. So, no, we don't have to offer up a lamb as a sacrifice for for the forgiveness of our sins. But we do have to make our bodies a living sacrifice. OK. Romans 12 and one, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God. All right. And we receive mercy. This is mercy. The fact that we ain't dead, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. Holy. We just read that the law was holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. So, yeah, it's hard in this world. But once you you you, you repent, things become second nature unto you. And it's actually joyful not to be. Uh, uh, in 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 the same act as this world, man. Let's read the. Let's look up the word sacrifice. Man, I'm gonna end it off in a minute. Thusia. A sacrifice. A victim. All right. In the sacrifice, you, you put yourself second. See, but you're a living sacrifice, man. Give me one second while it loads through a sacrifice, a emulet to slay, to kill. OK, you killing your own intents and thoughts. Okay. Immolate. Let me look that up real quick. So yeah, our people are uh, messed up in the head, man. And like I said, that falls on their leadership. These pre these 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 preachers, all right, to kill or offer as a sacrifice, especially by burning. All right, in the old days, a sacrifice to offer up. And, and the Lord is not going to accept this, the sacrifice that our people are uh, offering, man. They offering that strange incense. It's Jeremiah 23 and 14. I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem a horrible thing. They commit adultery, which that she's an adulteress. <laughs> you can clearly see that. Okay. 
and walk in lies, they strengthen also the hands of evildoers that none doth return from his wickedness. Okay, they are all of unto me, them unto me as Sodom and the inhabitants is thereof as Gomorrah. That's why a lot of our people are going to be destroyed. But they, they strengthen the hands of the evildoers that none of our people return from their wickedness. You see? But that's the sacrificial the part. Wait, the sacrificial oh, part. So not the sacrificial part. She's not Only listening. the part that you She's need is the beef. No, the sac. <laughs> you see how stupid niggas are, man. And forgive my French, you know, because what they don't know don't show, you know. And we, you know, you get tired of Jake, but it's like, why is there so much hate for the law, man? <laughs> A man not to put on the dress, you know. The the the, the laws are beautiful, man. Now there's particular laws that we cannot fulfill in this uh, uh, society. Like I can't, all right, a uh, uh, stone. A, a rebellious son or, or, or you know, it's, it's various things, right? But there are things that we can do to show our faith, man. Goodness gracious, man. And the remnant will be keeping the laws, man. That's in the scriptures. You're not listening. You're not well, listening. Only the part he was a sacrifice. Today, so you keep going back to sacrifice. sacrifice. Okay, so let me ask you a question. He was a sacrifice. So can you commit no? No, Why you not? should not. Can you though? People do it every day. That's all right. Can you? Yes or no? According to the Bible, no. Why? Because it's a law. Can you eat blood? No, it's a law. Even in Gen Acts, the uh, 15th chapter, when they were dealing with the Gentiles coming in, you know, and what laws they should keep. They say, all right, well, stay away from idols, which is a law. Stay away from blood, which is a law. You see? You see? Then you talk about them. We talk about you. But they and do it every day. Yeah, but you're not supposed to do but it. But it's so. not supposed I'm read, to I'm be read, done. I'm a, now I got to get you. It I'm going to read you. Can I read you two things? It's supposed to be done. I'm going to read you two people things. people do it. Okay. We understand that Jesus came to fulfill the law. We just read it. Point blank blank. We just read it. That's dot oh. dot dot. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. This is Romans 13. Okay, let him read what he said. Yeah. Let him read what he said. Okay. See, the man is more reasonable. Well, let me hear it. Let's, let me hear what you feel to say out of the Bible. Romans 13. Yeah, listen. Listen. Read it, listen. Romans 13. Read it. You hear it? She's disrespecting the scriptures, man. Matthew 12, 1. That's renewed. Romans 13. That's right. That's what you left on 12. But you're not renewed, though. I am totally renewed. What's your favorite food? I'm totally renewed. What's your favorite food? Don't try to talk about the pork and no, all look, that. She I knows. All that. I understand all that. Do you still eat it? Do you still eat it? Do you? No. Okay, that's great. Do you? Um, when I want to. There you go. She's um, not renewed. Because, you're no, not no, renewed. No, no. Because no, you're not. when Jesus came, he said that everything on food that he did we know was this. good. So, so shit, skunks are good. <laughs> oh, man, these, our people are going to be humbled in a major way, man. Our people are absolutely out of order. And this is, hey, this is what vocab said. Jesus died on the cross so that electric eel, a human foot, okay, a, a, a bare ankle, okay, a turtle, could be clean. What what's, what law is that? Where, where is that in the scriptures, man? And we got breakdowns on uh, that which uh, uh, goeth into the uh, mouth doesn't devour, man. But what comes out when dealing with the eating with unwashed hands? It's still unclean. It might be unclean, yeah. but he said it was good. It's not good. Oh, and please don't go to the Cornelius. <laughs> With the sheet knit. I believe it's the book of Job. Job 14 and 4, 144. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one, but a black Christian can. 
Okay, and the priest, Ezekiel 44, and they shall teach my people the difference between the holy and profane and cause them to discern between the unclean and the clean. That was the duty of a priest. Okay. Isaiah 52 and 11, depart ye, depart ye, go out from thence, separate yourselves from this world, touch no unclean thing. All right. Go ye out of the midst of her, be ye clean that bear the vessels of the Lord. Okay. This is Isaiah. Sixty five and two, I have spread out my hands all day unto a rebellious people which walketh in a way that is not good after their own thoughts, a people that provoketh me to anger continually to my face that sacrificeth in gardens and burneth incense upon the altars of brick. All right. That's, you know, in the ancient way, you know, how you uh, offered up sacrifice to these different guys. They would go into these groves. OK, it says which remain among the graves. All right. In a congregation of the dead and lodge in the monuments. <laughs> all right. The, the well kept monuments of failure, those churches, man. OK, which eat swine's flesh and broth of abominable in their th uh, abominable things in their vessels. The New Year's gumbo would say, stand by thyself. Come not near unto me, for I am holier than thou. I am fully transformed. Okay. With shrimp and garlic bread stuck in her back teeth. All right. These are a smoke in my nose, a fire that burneth all day. The Lord don't like that sacrifice. See? And he, remember he, he put Aaron's sons to death. Because they offered up the wrong sacrifice. What the hell you think he going to do to you? The very next chapter. Isaiah 66. And 15. End time prophecy. Remember vocab acknowledged this was an end time prophecy. For behold the Lord will come with fire. And with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury. And his rebuke with flames of fire. For by the fire and by the sword will Yahweh plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. They that sanctify themselves, you're purifying yourself by your own uh, uh, purification qualifications, man. Not by the true way. It, it purify themselves in gardens behind the tree in the mist, eating swine's flesh, and the abomination and the mouse shall be consumed together, saith the Lord. All right. So <laughs> the end time prophecy, people who are openly doing these things and just living these abominable lifestyles are going to be consumed, say up the Lord in the remnant, which would make us what, what would make us stand out. Why would the dragon be so angry with us? Revelation 12 and 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God. And have the testimony of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. So the remnant are going to have the mind to do good. Now, does it mean they're going to be perfect in the flesh and never go? No. But what they stand on. OK, they're not going to bow to the image of Baal, man. Unto death. And that obedience is going to. All right. Ultimately. You know, justify them under Yahweh Shai and being delivered, man. But the rest of our people are like whores, man. But, but did not the world say it was good? What, pork? No, he didn't specify it was pork. Food. He said it was good. No. Where? He didn't say the food was good. He said things that the Father created were good. But everything has a purpose. This is a typical, typical, typical. I love well, here the you go. Lord. You love the Lord, but you're going to do what he say, And no matter what, because you can't do anything. You won't do what he say. Yeah, you can't, can't do it. it. I, don't eat, I don't eat that clean food. I'm, I'm just saying, you can't do everything that the Word of God says. That's because what can you do? See, all Christians focus on is what you can't. We ain't can't do that. We can't. Well, what can you do? There are things you can do. And you out of order. You can shut the hell up. The scriptures say a woman should keep silence. We are still here. Yeah. And like I said, as long as we still here. Mm -hmm. 
as well. What? We are still not a perfect being. How do you because live, he did not, we can't we didn't say, Wait a minute. He didn't say you were going to be perfect. He going to make us perfect when he comes. Right. Okay. But don't but, try to portray but when you, that you're not. Because but when my you say thing that? Is, because my thing is this. And y'all got to forgive doing, her. She doing a little bit of cheating. You said you was a little intoxicated. And we letting you go. Oh, go so ahead. you're going to do the intoxication thing, no, really? No, you go ahead. I'm done. I'm done. No, she's drunk off of age. She's drunken, but not with wine. See, the, 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 the actual libations that she had, along with them unclean foods that she just got through eating, all right, with uh, Uncle Tim, all right, that's the least of her words. See, she's drunken off of a philosophy. And this is where Esau loves to see our people, man. And he, he doesn't like the way she's acting. Yes, we ain't gonna do the you been saying you're done for five minutes. You ain't done. Okay, I'm done. You, gonna, you ain't done. I'm done now. You'll come back. No, well, no. you stay, bro. bro. We're going to read this for you. Because she's no, not trying to receive what I'm trying to give her. Get the word. Get the word. Get the word. Get the word. We read. So Jesus came. So we ain't got. So the the laws are done away with. But then he go put them in us when he re, when we get new bodies. She's still talking about it. We read it already. She didn't get it. It went over her head. Romans thirteen verse no, eight, bro. He already fulfilled it all. I Jesus still read it. Romans thirteen it verse eight. Oh no man anything but to love one another. For he that have loved another, so like it. For he that loved another have fulfilled the law. She read it now. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not salaki, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, and if, uh, thou shalt not cover, and if there be any other commandment, that's what I was trying to get to, she will let me get to it. If there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Now, with that being said, this is the reason this is a perfect, because it's the title. Babylon will destroy you. You see her mind state? She's destroyed. She filled up off of Christianity, man. Christianity got her. She thinks she knows. She got the answers. And I was trying to get to so many scriptures, man. But I can't see the comic book rolling. So we're gonna, of course, we're gonna have to do responses to it. The black woman is through, man. And she even let the man talk. She was all touching me, all out of order. Like shit. Anyway, let's get a few of these off the comic board. Yeah. This GMS North Carolina. Judges 5 and 11. They that delivered, they that are delivered from the noise of archers in the places of drawing water, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. We were no way trying to say we perfect, that we keep every law 100%. But you do have to keep the commandments. Okay? And she, she talked, she double talked. <laughs> Excuse me, I got hiccups. What else we got? Dark matter, you howl the first, Timothy 2 and 12. But I suffer now the woman to teach, nor to serve authority over man, but to be in silence. And the only reason that I allowed it to go on like that, y'all know the reason why I was doing it. I was letting her, you know, letting her build it up, let her follow. Because I was just trying to read scripture, but when the scripture came out, she quieted down a little bit, then she went right back to it. First John 5 and 3, for this is the love of God that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. All right. Or grievous. <laughs> the word for grievous is barus. Heavy in weight, burdensome. See, our people look at the laws as a burden because they want to do what the hell they want to do and offer up their own sacrifice. But that's all right. All right. Cruel, unsparing. Our people look at the not being able to do particular things as cruel and severe and stern. That's why they would rather be Christians than Israelites. So with that, I'm going to just uh, leave it there. Hopefully I'll edify it. On to the next. Shalom.